We have seen that uh, a rare large fluctuation um, will cause uh, an ordered uh, state formation and it's very unlikely because the probability is very low. The relative frequency of such events is very low in other words. <clears throat> now can we prepare an ordered state uh, with some other means instead of relying on this large fluctuation and waiting for uh, possibly infinitely long uh, time? The answer is yes. So we can have uh, the molecules on the left hand side of our container if we, if we do an external intervention. So what I would like to do now is to have n, the number of molecules on the left hand side, assuming a value n1 which is much greater than n over 2, capital N over 2, Actually, I would like to have all of the molecules on the left-hand side, uh, not as a result of a spontaneous fluctuation, which is very unlikely. But I would like to achieve this uh, as a result of an external intervention. So we're going to see uh, two methods to do this. Uh, the first one uh, I have here is to have a movable piston. So how does that work? I apply a force uh, on this piston force F so initially I have the system is an equilibrium and remember uh, once again this is an isolated uh, system so there is no heat exchange with the environment when I apply this force F on the system which initially had equilibrium uh, a uniform distribution of molecules inside the container and I move the piston all the way to uh, the middle. So this is my starting point and basically I find that the piston has moved all the way to the middle. And then I, uh, I have basically confined all the molecules on the left hand side. So as a result of this uh, here I will have molecules confined to the left, left side. Okay, so left half is full. So what have I achieved here? Uh, the number of molecules on the left side is n. The number of molecules on the right side is 0. Now the question is, if I uh, pull the piston back to its original position, what will happen to these molecules that are confined on the left hand side? So uh, at t is equal to 0, I have n is equal to n. And what happens at t is equal to infinity, or t goes to infinity, let's say? Uh, well, I will see that these molecules will diffuse uh, to the right-hand side until I have a uniform uh, configuration, the most random or disordered configuration uh, will be achieved. Okay, another way to do this is uh, by using a removable partition. So. The second technique I can use removing a partition. So what do I have here? Uh, the, the box initially had a, a partition to start with and all the molecules were on the left hand side. So I had n is equal to capital N, n prime is equal to zero. And then what I did is I removed this 
partition. So I apply the force F. The partition has been removed. And what will start happening is that these molecules will start diffusing to and eventually, uh, so this is T is equal to um, zero configuration. This is T intermediate. And this is as the time goes to infinity, relax to the most uniform and random configuration so that uh, n will assume its time averaged value capital N over 2 and prime will be capital N over 2. So uh, I can prepare an ordered configuration using an external intervention but as soon as this uh, restriction on the system is removed what happens is that the system will relax to its most uniform or random configuration. Now, how long does it take for the system to uh, relax to its uh, most random or uniform configuration? Well, that depends on the details of the system. So if instead of removing the partition completely, I had removed only partially, what will happen is that the st still the molecules will start diffusing to the right hand side because many of the collusions between the molecules and the, uh, and the walls is restricted because I have a partial removal of the partition. It will take longer to achieve the most uniform con uh, configuration. So remember tau r here is my relaxation time. The relaxation uh, process, relaxation time, depends on the details of the system so uh, this relaxation time can be low or it can be high depending on the details of the system now to summarize these observations we can say uh, the following uh, if an isolated system is in an appreciably non-random non-random configuration or ordered configuration uh, regardless of regardless of how it reached it could be a spontaneous fluctuation, it could be an external intervention. What will happen is spontaneous fluctuation or by virtue of an external intervention it will and of course we're going to have fluctuations around the equilibrium value so except for uh, small fluctuations ultimately approach the most random equilibrium situation. So we're saying a few things here. One, uh, the equilibrium situation for the system is the most random or most disordered situation and if you prepare the system in a non-equilibrium configuration which is ordered uh, non-random uh, configuration non-uniform configuration regardless of how you prepared this configuration whether it's a spontaneous fluctuation that is rarely occurring 
throughout the lifetime of the system or an, uh, by virtue of an external intervention, the system will always relax to its equilibrium, random, disordered, uniform configuration. The, the time it takes for the system to approach this uh, equilibrium configuration, the relaxation time, the relaxation time, Uh, here I showed this with tau r, depends on the details of the system. As you have seen here, if you have a partially removed, uh, partially removed partition, it takes longer compared to the scenario where I have full removal of the um, partition. Okay, so that's basically all I would like to say about uh, preparing uh, an ordered configuration. Uh, the rare occurring large fluctuation, it's, uh, as the name implies, it's rare. Uh, because the probability of such an event is very, very small, as especially it gets really small as the number of molecules gets larger. Uh, that's statistically more relevant. So uh, the, observing a large fluctuation just by uh, watching the system for a long time is uh, almost impossible. Uh, what is uh, more possible, or what is uh, the practical way of preparing an ordered configuration, is by external intervention. And we have seen that we can do this uh, in this uh, example of gas trapped inside a container which is isolated from the rest of the world, either by using a movable piston or removing a partition that was installed in the middle of the system. And depending on how exactly we perform uh, the, the process, removing the partition process, if we do it uh, fully or partially, it will change the time it takes for the system to relax to its equilibrium situation, which is the relaxation time will depend on uh, the details of the system.